guys, welcome to the after show pilot episode thing. almost. Basically, in this, we're going to be recapping the whole of the Se uh, Seeking Performance um, series as that's now finished. Basically, going over our favorite bits and um, what sort of to come next. So, so honestly, if you've already watched the series, there's no point watching this, just, just skip to the end, watch the last three minutes, and then we get a view. And then just click the close button. You're so pessimistic. I am. Let's carry on. So, James, what do you think of your car? Um, disappointed. Do you even, were you, uh, were you so disappointed with it? Just, I'm gonna just paraphrase. Would you have said you're so disappointed with it that you've sold it? Yes. Nice. Basically, the whole of Seek and Performance, we've been battling with the BMWs, basically, as it's not been gaining any power. Um, or if it did, it was very sporadic. Um, but I think Neil pointed out in the remap episode um, that it was partially down to a high-pressure fuel pump issue. Um, but that's not... The person that's bought it, replaced it, and is still saying it is sort of got the same issue so there's more to do with the fueling than uh, was first thought so i'm glad i got a shot of it when i did um although it was probably the most fun i've ever had in the car despite the fact it didn't gain any power it didn't lose any power but yeah most fun you've ever had in the car okay okay i'll take that yep i thought you'd have said maybe most fun you ever had in the car was driving the m4 I know, like my own car. Oh, okay. Driving with my own car, I've, I've I've been lucky enough to drive some very nice cars um, for the jobs that I've been doing. Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper S, Mini Cooper D, Mini Cooper Normal, Mini. Just M3, anything. Three, mini. four, <laughs> five, six. <laughs> you heard about the new M11? The M11? M8. M8. Yeah, mate. That's gonna be mental. Actually, make that. I was Any expecting them to do an M9. Oh. Just because it would have been funny. No, because of the whole M9 joke thing. Yeah, that would have been good. You missed a trick, BMW. Anyway. Yeah, um, that's what else, that's what else. So, BMW, best one you've ever had, fuel pump issue, sold it. What would you say the best bit was in the series? Um, hmm, that's a good question. When um, you start filming it, when you start filming it, 20, 20, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> 20, <laughs> 18 months ago. Mm, 18 months ago. Over that. No, no, it was, it wasn't that long. Ago. April last year. April yeah. 2015. Yeah, so it was longer than that. About a year. April 2015, yeah. yeah. So that was the first ever. So that was Cobra Sport. Well, I got my. Yeah, it was the exhaust in April. Mm, yeah, so yeah. Would you class that as your favourite favorite thing? Um. No, no. I'd say that was probably the, the low point actually of anything. Oh really? Yeah. Because Taylor are just really awkward, and they are probably really just really awkward. They are a really awkward company. Well, the, the, the issue with Cobra was that um, we were invited to go over to film, and then the guy who invited us over was on holiday, and we then weren't able to film unless there was no one in the workshop, which was completely the point of us going was to be in there to see them do the install. Which is why to make a video for them about their install. Yeah, so the video yeah. that they asked us to do um, never really happened. Yeah. Which is a shame. Because it would have probably brushed over the fact that I that exhaust lost me power. But then we, they did fix it and did bring it back, but it's besides the point. I had to drive up to Sheffield twice. You know, people people do say Cobra are good, and they are probably quite good for things that they've actually tested and developed and actually yeah, put time because into. because it was a custom exhaust, and it felt like they rushed it through a little bit. Um, they probably didn't do as good a job as they probably normally do. And I can imagine the fact that, given the time and effort to actually do a proper system for specific cars to then put on the shelf, then they would actually be all right. I'm just going to jump in and say that, yes, I mean, it may sound like we are slating Cobra, but, and they may do a great job, so don't just stand, jump in the comments and say, oh, Cobra are amazing and think we're actually getting all arsy about them. They just, in, in our instance, some companies are crap, and in this instance... It was just the way that they handled on things. There was yeah. no communication in terms of the person that we were dealing with and then the people that were there on the day, which is a shame, because um, 
Well, I think one of the issues was that we were told that we'd be allowed to film at set intervals. Every time they completed a step, we'd be allowed to go in and film. And it turned out that that didn't happen. That set and then interval we just got told, was time. Yeah, so when you're sat there waiting to film, thinking what to do, thinking it'll just be an hour, and then four hours later, it's like, oh, your car's done. And you're like, oh, great. Yeah. I haven't filmed it. Anyway. <laughs> It was only because we were invited to go yeah. film it. If we were just told, oh, yeah, here's, a, here's a system with all the pipes, just fit it yourself, then it would be a completely different story. Yeah. Um, but it's the fact that they invited us over. But, but so, I, yeah, I'd say Cobra Sport are pretty good. It sounded good. The system, yeah, it sounded great. And then once they'd tweaked it to um, properly do the back pressure, it was a good system. Yeah. And they did exactly what I asked them to do. They didn't put a back box on, it was just a straight through pipe. Um, they did what I asked, basically, but it was just the overall customer experience. Okay, so back to the original question that I completely took you off. What was your favourite part? Favourite part? Um, I would say it was probably, um, uh, without sounding really corny and cheesy, um, probably being at BBR with Neil. Neil was a great chap, and um, whenever we've come here, he's always looked after us. Oh. Um, oh. It's, well, it's, it's, it's come a, come good. True with you know. Yeah. Um, they invite they let us use their space an awful lot and they've actually told us whenever we want to use a ramp, we have a ramp. So it's not nice. you, you just completely copped out of that. So do you know what my favourite part was? What? My kind never had any good bits <laughs> on it, so I, that's kind of the only thing. So my best bit was getting the suspension fitted, because then it looked good. Uh, then getting the exhaust fitted because that just made it sound amazing and that was just really good fun. And then getting the remap because then it got more power. That was also then more fun. That's basically just three days of excitement out of the whole series. Yeah, we definitely didn't film this over three. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, just generally driving it was fun. What else did I do? Seeking performance. Oh, the grill, that was... That was the that seeking was status. So the spring, but we'll the grill it. has divided many people. Yeah, yeah. Some people like it. Some people hate it. I don't know. I sometimes walk back to my car and I hated it, and sometimes I walk back to my car and I liked it. It really depends on mood I was in. I think it would have been better. Vinyl wrapping kind of ruined it. Yes, I'm glad it only stayed on. Let's be honest. At the time, it was going to stay on the car for uh, like a few months, and, and I think it stayed on for two weeks because. The car sold. It's gone. Oh. That's just gone. Yeah, both cars are gone. That's the bombshell. Surprise! There. Surprise. <laughs> both cars have gone. Yeah. So, so we've ended a series and ended an era on Turbo Autos. I no longer have a 3 litre BMW and he no longer has a Master 3. 2 litre. I replaced my 2 litre with a 2 litre. Yeah. I went so. from a 3 litre to a 2 litre. There you go. I think. What else? What else? What else? But what was your overall power gains in the end? What, Neil, what did I gain? What did you gain? What did I gain in my power? Loads. Loads. I can't remember, the figure was so high, <laughs> my brain can't compute how many loads. Uh, more than the BMW. A lot more than the BMW, <laughs> yeah. Uh, can't you remember? Honestly. Well, you started with 145, didn't it? It went up to 165? No, 147. It was 147 stock, and I think, because we you went up... because like the dyno graph. If possible. So what I know we went up your, to what one. What's your um, reg? Uh, ACO4 SVU. What was your reg? My your reg. Sure, your reg. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, basically, because I know the figures of my car actually pretty much off the top of my head, I started out <laughs> with 254. Um, You're right there, Oscar. You're and right, then ended up with 258. You're right. I'm just going to move the mic. Are you enjoying yourself? Sorry, you carry on. <laughs> yeah, overall, before the, um, <sighs> before the remap, I'd gained four brake horsepower. Um, and then when we tried to do the remap, it just didn't want to do anything because of the fuel pump. Um, oh, I've started, sorry. I've started stroking Oscar and now he won't let me stop. Carry on. I was done. Okay. So yeah, Mazda was really good, gained lots of power. And Neil's just about to find out how much power it gained. Probably about um, 15%. I think it was about that. And then, what else? What else was good about the series? It was just good fun. Generally good fun. Learned a lot about cars. <laughs> There's so much that's not on camera. 
just because we couldn't film it. But it was good fun. I don't even know if you can see me anymore, but I'm oh, sorry. I'm... There's a dog there who wants fun. <laughs> he's just like, you stop and he's like, well, there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, so I think it's a really good series all in all. I really enjoyed it. Shame the car's gone, but the cars we've got now are going to be a lot of fun. I think some more so than others. Yeah. I don't like front wheel drive. Oh, you bought a front wheel drive, have you? Maybe. Hey, that narrowed it down to probably a thousand cars. But I, um, don't, I don't like front wheel drive. I've been driving rear wheel drive cars for the last two and a bit years. I don't like front wheel drive cars. No. My next car will be a rear wheel drive car after me. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's it. It was a good series. I really enjoyed it. Look forward to the next two series. We're going to be back down at BBR a lot, um, doing a lot more filming. Um, and I think, actually, it's going to be a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing how much we can gain out of these two cars. Yes. Stock. Your car has 182 brake horsepower ish. Mine has 200 ish horsepower. That narrows it down to more cars, less cars. But there you go. If you can work out what it is, let us know in the description. Put a description. Let us know in the comments. Neil's going to come back a minute and tell me my gains. We'll have to add this bit in. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna, sorry, Oscar. Sorry. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you in the new series. Yes. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> he actually got up. Pet me, stopping. Pet me. Should we go down and find Neil? Let's go find Neil. <laughs>